All right, guys, uh, bear with me on this one. I'm going to try something different. So I like simplicity in videos. Uh, I try my best to do one product per video because uh, I think it's just easier to find that way and a little bit more digestible uh, when you're doing research. So that said, I'm going to do one intro video and I'm going to reuse it a couple of times here. So we're going to be looking at uh, J Tactical Solutions products. So first up, or not first up, but one of the items is going to be the, the J hook, which is kind of a, a G hook side release buckle replacement, uh, which is crazy low profile because it's Tegris. And then we've got their double column Molly add-on and their single column Molly add-on. A little bit different features in both of those. I'll show you how they work. Their tuckable Molly platform, uh, which is pretty innovative product. Not, um, not the most widely usable anymore, uh, but if you have a vest that this works on, pretty slick solution. And then uh, lastly will be their new uh, placard system, which is kind of unique. Uh, maybe a little bit too much modularity for your taste and potentially mine, but pretty cool setup and uh, it leaves a lot of room open for figuring out how to use it. So with that said, introduced all the products. Uh, so if you watch any of these other videos, I apologize, you're gonna see the same intro again, but we'll do one product at a time and then uh, that'll be all you have to deal with for this video. All right, thanks guys. All right, you know, this is, this is gonna sound silly, but this is the, the J Tactical Solutions product that I was most excited to check out. Uh, every time he posts something about this, I share it because I think it's genius. Uh, and every time I share it, I get at least one person that reaches out to me saying that there's no way these are strong enough to uh, support a placard in a worst case situation, uh, which I don't necessarily think is wrong, but I wanted to try it firsthand. So as you can see, I got a bunch of these, so if I break one, uh, no worries. And I didn't tell him what I was having him uh, make this for, but I asked him, I forgot I had given away all my webbing. Uh, so I asked him to make uh, a couple lengths of webbing with a, a, a pull handle on each end. So uh, what this is, is a, a J hook, uh, which is his, his name. Um, and it is a replacement for G hooks or side release buckles when mounting placards. Uh, so, We'll just use this placard here as an example. We could replace our side release buckle, our field repairable buckle with this. And then we could field repair this onto our plate carrier. Uh, it would not be true quick release at that point, uh, like placards usually are, but these are not too hard to fish on and off uh, from either end. All right, if you've got something like the Shaw that's adjustable, uh, you can just feed it through there and it's almost as fast as using a side release buckle. All right, uh, but as you can see, incredibly minimal bulk there. Uh, so any issues with clearing mags or having push to talks above it or something like that is kind of negated uh, when you use these things. All right, so uh, I, J Tactical Solutions has also gotten the comments that these might not be strong enough uh, if for whatever reason, the Velcro uh, securing the placard ceased to exist and you caught something and all of the shear force was on this. Uh, so he posted a video a while back with uh, some weights uh, hanging from this, a lot of weight. I think it was like 60 pounds or something like that, uh, and it was it was just fine. <coughs> uh, so I shared that, and then the complaint I got was, well, that's a static load. What about a dynamic load? So uh, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try my best on camera to break this thing. Um, I'm going to get critiques. Uh, that I didn't put enough effort into this and I didn't go until uh, failure, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to try not to lose this off camera here and make myself look like a dummy. Uh, but let's see here. I would say uh, that that is plenty strong. Uh, to secure a placard. All right, I think about the only realistic way to put more uh, shearing force on that would be if you were climbing something and for whatever reason your placard got snagged and you fell, like for real fell, uh, so that your body weight was actually on it. Because I am 
pulling that and jerking that as hard as I possibly can. And let's take a look at what that looks like. I mean, I can't even, I can't see anything on there uh, to imply that that is going to give out anytime soon. Uh, I actually had to make these straps uh, because I was concerned that if I put it on like a, a plate carrier and placard and tried to throw it around or something, that I would destroy the, the plate carrier or the placard before the G-hook, which I honestly think is the case. I think stitching is going to pop before this gives out. Um, if you guys don't think that's enough of a test, let me know. I'll try to come up with something stronger uh, so that we can really shock that thing. But I'm not sure what it would be without just being wildly unrealistic. So uh, thanks for checking this out. Uh, definitely give these things a look. They're dirt cheap and uh, can really eliminate some bulk on the front of your plate carrier uh, if you're not swapping out your, your placards on the regular. All right. Thanks, guys.